Hi there. In this demonstration, we're going to see how to create a scatter plot using the TI-8384 and their associated plus versions. It's really quite easy. Um, the first order of business is putting your X values and your Y values into lists. And so for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use the um, temperature and rate of cricket chirps demonstrated in, in the first example in 10.1 and 10.2. So here are the X values, the temperature and the chirps, those are the Y values. So I have to enter that into lists in the TI-83 um, or 84. So I'm going to do first here, I'm going to click on stat um, and I'm going to do edit. It's the, the default is edit, so I just hit enter there. And I need to put in list 1 will be my X values, list 2 will be the associated Y values. And I've already done that, it's a pretty long list, but 53, 62, 57, and so on. And list 2, that contains the uh, rate of cricket chirp. So I already have that in there. And that really is actually the, 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 the biggest time hog of everything we have to do. Um, so once we have the data, X and Y values, in lists, I'm going to click on my graph, right? And so the way I want to get to my graph, I want to do a stat plot. It's up here right below the screen. Stat plot is in blue above the Y equals. So I hit second, Y equals, and I can select any of these. By the way, notice they're all off. So I'm just going to select the first plot, plot one, which is off. I hit enter, and I'm going to turn it on, right? It's now off, so I hit enter on the on option. And what I'm going to do, I get to pick, there's all different ones. There's um, histograms, box charts. I'm going to pick the very first one. That is a scatter plot. I think the second is a line plot. Um, so I hit enter there. And then I go down. My list, my X list was the X values. And it was list 1, L1. If that wasn't there, suppose that was cleared. I would just hit um, L1, which is right above the 1 button. So I'd have to do second 1. And I'd hit enter, and I'd go second two to get L2, but that was already there. And I get to choose my mark. Um, so here I'll do the uh, square, the square, I guess. And so then I suppose I, you know, suppose I don't even mess around with my window, and I hit graph. So I want to see the graph, and voila, nothing, right? That is not what we wanted. And that's because the default window, or even the last time you had a graph, the window might not contain the data. If you look at the data, the X goes from like 53 to 96, and the Y goes from 20 to 220. So I want to make sure I capture that in my window. So I'll go back over to my TI-84, and I click on Window. X min 0, that's fine, but the max is going to be 100. And I'll let the X scale, so every tick mark represents 10. Y min is 0, that's fine, but then the Y max, the highest was 220, so I should probably go up to, say, 240, so that I get everything. And the Y scale will be done in 20. Right. So now I'll hit Enter, and notice that doesn't do anything. I actually have to hit Graph again. So I hit Graph, and lo and behold, there's my scatter plot. That's what we wanted. Um, so don't panic if you um, hit Graph and you don't see anything. You know, it's not very likely that whatever your window is set at or what it was set on before you did this doesn't, doesn't include the actual data. So make sure you adjust your window to include the points as described by your data. Uh, so there you have it. Scatterplot. Nice and easy after you get your data into lists. And we're done. Bye.